Hello, welcome to Secrets of the Stones. Today's stone is peridot or olivine. Peridot is also known as pylon sheath or olive stone. It occurs in many shades of green, including greenish yellow, yellowish brown, brown and white. The yellowish green colored stones are also known as chrysolite. Olivine is the name of the raw mineral, while peridot is the name given to gemstone quality stones, which are used in therapeutic practices. Peridot is transparent or translucent and has a glass-like shine. In nature, it can be found in granular form, pictured below, and rarely in crystal form. Peridot is a ferromagnesian stone, meaning it is composed of magnesium, iron, silicate, but it can also contain traces of nickel and chromium. And to the right are some pictures of its crystal structure. The balance of these two minerals will ultimately determine its color. The magnesium content is usually higher than its iron content. Um, the stones with the higher amounts of iron are a stronger green color, and the combination of magnesium and iron give it um, cleansing and regenerating capabilities. Olivine is among the Earth's most common minerals. It derives from peridotite, which has the same chemical structure as molten magma which is high in magnesium and iron and low in silica. Peridotite makes up the largest percentage by volume of the Earth's upper mantle. It emerges from the mid-oceanic rifts in a constant eruption and moves slowly and steadily towards the continents along the subsea floor. Peridotite can be thought of as a mediator it is constantly accommodating the influences between the deep and the superficial layers of the earth. So if more water is, abs is absorbed during its formation, olivine can change into serpentine, pictured above. Historically, a large amount of gemstone quality peridot was mined on Zabargad, St. John, a volcanic island in the Red Sea, east of Egypt. This location has um, been a source of peridot mining for 3,500 years. In modern times, the stone can be found in San Carlos Apache Reservation of Arizona. Other modern sources of peridot include China, Myanmar, and Pakistan, which produces a particularly high-quality stone. Peridot is one of the most important stones for the liver. Um, the meridian is pictured to the right. It has an influence on the entire trajectory of the liver channel and has a broad range of effects. This stone is simultaneously nourishing and detoxifying. It cleanses as it restores and is a first choice for cancer patients who are undergoing chemotherapy because it does not interfere with chemotherapy or radiation. It is a keystone for healing the nutritive or yin qi shown in the image above and its relationship to the essence. It helps the individual navigate through the pressures of life while continuing to fulfill their life purpose. It also stimulates the gallbladder meridian, the liver's paired meridian, and its role as a bridge between the internal organs and the curious organs pictured above. The internal organs are the stomach, the spleen, the liver, the heart, the kidneys, and the extraordinary organs are the uterus, the blood vessels, 
bone marrow, bones, brain, and gallbladder. Parado accesses the level of the marrow and affects congenital diseases and conditions that are set in the genetics. It also affects the yin and yang linking meridians in their relationship to the aging process. The stone also increases the holding capacity of the belt or dimai channel. The belt channel holds all of the meridians together at the waist, as you can see in this diagram. Peridote provides the stamina needed in order to detoxify. So how is it used? Well, it enhances all functions related to the liver channel. It is recommended for conditions that require detoxification of the liver and those conditions affecting the relationship of the liver to the uterus or genitalia, such as difficult labor or pain in the genital region. The stone nourishes the blood and cools heat in the blood. Um, it also breaks up blood stagnation and is useful for treating skin conditions that are related to the liver, such as liver spots or warts. It also helps with painful menstruation and hemorrhaging. Peridot clears liver fire and liver wind and can be used to treat redness and inflammation of the eyes because the liver channel transverse, traverses the eyes um, and the eyes are the organ associated with the liver channel. It is also good for bad breath or body odor, um, high blood pressure, and symptoms of internal wind caused by the liver, qi, rising up. In severe cases, when liver yang qi rises up, it can cause seizures or convulsions. And this point, the liver two point, and the liver three point, um, the liver three-point pictured below is beneficial for subduing um, liver wind. Peridot regulates the liver and gallbladder meridians and is beneficial for addressing the signs and symptoms of liver invading the spleen, which may include nausea or bloating, um, swelling of the spleen and liver, weight gain, tender breasts, constriction in the diaphragm, jaundice or yellowing of the skin, Crohn's disease, alternating diarrhea and constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, and sluggish bile or gallstone. Peridot tonifies the warming um, yang qi, which, and it also clears inflammation by stimulating yang qi. After stimulation by the stone, the yang qi is drawn, um, drawn back to the kidney gate or the ming men gate, which is pictured um, in these three images, and consolidated. And when this happens, um, it helps treat hepatitis, prostatitis, irritable bowel syndrome, and weak immunity. Peridot also clears heat in the marrow and is beneficial for steaming bone syndrome or a sensation of heat that emanates deeply from the bones, usually at night. Long-term use of the stone can help pacify the Hun, um, which is known as the soul of the liver or cloud soul and also balances the emotions. It is said that the Hun leaves the body at night and um, engages in the practice of dreaming. Peridot is beneficial for bipolar disorder, dementia, forgetfulness, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It soothes and softens trauma and assists in the process of release of trauma. Importantly, it helps remove self-blame and promotes forgiveness of the self and others.
Peridot also relaxes the wood element, the element that is linked with the liver, when its intensity causes anger or bouts of rage. It is beneficial for overachievers who have a familial history of those kinds of behaviors and can be used to cultivate self-acceptance or generally acceptance of the world. It is the birthstone for those born in August. So how can it be applied in everyday life? Well, it has an orthorhombic crystal structure and an affinity for the heart temperament or the yin fire temperament. Some attributes of the yin fire temperament. Um, it is a relatively rare temperament that occurs um, as a result of early child childhood trauma um, or loss or separation of the parents at a young age. This type might feel um, unable to overcome the challenges of life. They have um, a feeling of defeat before they even begin sometimes. The fire they have is contained inside and has a problem expressing itself outwardly which causes an uneasy feeling for them. They may have restless minds with self-expression that is in internalized which means they do not easily say what's on their mind. They are highly sensitive to stimuli and will be wakened up by um, sounds in the middle of the night because they're light sleepers. They might be misunderstood and as children they had different interests than other children. They are pessimistic and a defeatist attitude is thwarted um, by their rigid thought patterns. They will reject attempts to change these patterns. When they're sick, they might be prone to heart problems caused by um, fire in the heart, meridian, um, such as high fevers or tongue ulcers and digestive problems cause when the um, heart fire transfers to its perimeridian, the large intestine meridian. So peridot can be massaged, placed or taped um, on the chest, in the space between the ribs under the breasts, in a direct line with the nipples um, picture above, to regulate the functions of the liver and gallbladder, um, such as with constipation caused by excess heat in the liver channel or constriction in the diaphragm. It can be placed um, on this point along with aqua, either aquamarine or emerald to help treat gallstones and obstruction of the bile duct. When combined with Larimar, um, its effects on the liver and gallbladder will be emphasized. The stone can be placed on warts or worn as a ring with, the, with it touching the area directly. Um, an elixir can also be created and sprayed on warts to help get rid of them. Barite can be added um, to enhance the effects of the treatment. Interestingly, in Taoist medicine, warts were seen as indications of self-toxicity. You can wear peridot in the form of an amulet or a ring or a pair of earrings to address the functions and uses um, mentioned in this video. So when worn on the index finger, a peridot ring will help people um, break away from outdated habits and patterns of behavior. It can be placed underneath the tongue during meditation to purify contaminated thoughts and emotions. In ancient times, it was used as an amulet to ward off evil spirits. The ancient Chinese physician Li Shizhen recommended peridot for people who blame themselves for past actions. Um, it helps a person absolve themselves from sin or guilt. 
Peridot can be cleansed um, in warm water once a month and recharged with a clear quartz crystal. Here are some um, images of the stone. Well, thank you for joining me today on Secrets of the Stones. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you at the next video.